Hello and welcome back to So April. So I have another Timu haul and I wanted to share uh, two little update things first. So um, if y'all remember my husband had got this little wrench thing and I don't know if you can tell in the picture but it stripped and he could not use it. So they actually gave us a refund for that. So I just wanted to share that. And then if y'all remember I had got this box that came busted which I still need to fix for my medicine and vitamins and stuff. I ordered the other one that was red. Um, it was a, from a different company so I wanted to share with y'all the differences if you do decide to get one. So here's the gray one and here's the red one. So the red one is wider but it's um shorter and it's it seems smaller so one of the differences on the white one it has a tray for the whole thing and on the red one also the handle on the red one's thinner but I mean that doesn't play the function but the red one I guess it opens a little different too this opens from the top the other one opens from the bottom but the red one has nothing on here and the lid is only like a half lid with a little handle so just thought I would go ahead and share those first And you gotta really make sure it's shut before you shut this one. The other one does seem to shut a little better, but yeah. So I just wanted to share those. And then now I'll go to the um, rings. So I've got a really beautiful red one. This one was like three something, but it reminded me of um, what is that movie? The Secret of Nim. I thought, oh, that's so pretty. And then this other one is purple. It looks really black in my light, but it is definitely purple. And then this one's a really hot pink. And this one was also three something, but it's really pretty red. And then this one's a uh, green, like an emerald green and then I couldn't fit all of my rings on my fingers and then this one's just a metal butterfly so I'm going to take most of those off okay so first this this time I'm going to go I'll work my way into the craft stuff so I have a few like different things so first of all I got this shirt and it's a Care Bear shirt and trying to search Care Bear in it like was really hard to find in the search bar I really don't know how I really found it um, but as always if you find anything you want in the haul that I have bought and you can't find it in there message me below and I will link it for you so don't worry about that um, I also got this Care Bear one now I did get these in a 4X and I would suggest size up. I thought 4X would be enough. <laughs> I should have went bigger because it's polyester but it's weird. It's like really stretchy but really clingy. So like it like sucks into all your fat rolls and everything and I'm thinking oh this might not be very good for Texas heat so I don't know. I'm going to have to put on my hold a lot for uh, winter. Maybe I can lose a little weight. And this one, I really thought about getting a um, refund on. But then I thought, why you sew? You can make things work. Um, but see how big the neck is? Like, it's horrible. And I liked it because it said the uh, made in the 70s. And it has like the little rainbow stripe. And this one, the fabric isn't quite as bad. It is real clingy at the hip, but 
it's also like real super boxy on the shoulders and I thought well that's kind of disappointing I really like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it and make it into a raglan and maybe like add a little to the sides to like give it a little more width or something to make it fit better and then the last one this one was more of a win um this one does feel a little bit more like double brush poly but it doesn't feel as bad um this one was only like four dollars the only problem i really found on it well there's two problems the little wish thing lands right on my breast which is a little awkward and it's a little bit short i like my shirts longer but it like barely covers my belly which i mean it's fine but it's really good up to here it's not like like it's made for a woman like me that has like no shoulders so that is information that you know you could take it or leave it with that <laughs> okay and then we're gonna go to like other products so i got more of those nail files and like i said these are perfect for natural nails I would not recommend them for acrylics or anything fake, but I love them for my nails. And I always lose everything. I lose my nail files, I lose my hair ties, I lose my clips. So if I can buy more, and I think it was like $2 for the whole thing, so yeah. Okay, and then I bought one of these, which ironically I have one of these somewhere in my house and it's for like dusting and you can like clean your ceiling fan the one I bought I actually have an extra thing here well I lost the stick part so the little dusty thing isn't worth anything so now I have this and I have an extra dusty thing so that's really good and then I got this okay this is a whole bunch of sorry if this is really loud just wanted to get one out to show you there's 30 and they're the mr. clean magic erasers in a generic brand I have to say they work as good in my opinion if not even better and I haven't used this yet but my husband saw this and he was like what is this I think he thought it was food and it says Oro, Oro, I don't know what that means, but it's a like exfoliant sponge to scrub your skin. And I thought, well, since I have psoriasis, it might be a good thing to try. So I'm gonna try that. And then I got some duct tape because why not? And oh. This is one of my impressive things I found, a hair clip. I like flat hair clips and it's pretty flat, let's see, and my hair is super thick, I'm sure y'all can tell, and it grabs all of it up in there, so yeah, definitely, definitely a win for me. Okay, so I got this. I'm going to put this on a package for my granddaughter when I send it to her. I'm sending her some, um, and they're just little stickers with happy faces. I might even send her a section of the roll of it. I told her that I would send her some stickers, and I used some food coloring and dyed some paper. And so she wanted me to send those in, like, little book forms. So I just used a stapler and made a little like pamphlet book so I'm gonna send her some of these too and put this on the package and oh and then for jewelry I forgot this really pretty hoop let's see I have it uh, really cute and then I got these scissor earrings um I'm not going to put them on because I just put these ones on. But I just thought they were just so cute. And then I got this 
squirrel. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, I just thought it was cute. And I thought, oh, that'll go with my uh, shirt that I got last time. That 80 HD look. Uh, squirrel or a highway to squirrel or something. And, oh, this one's bent really bad. Let's see if I can straighten it. Uh, I don't know how this is going to really work. But there are like little cogs and if they don't work for earrings I'll just throw them in my steampunk journal. If you remember last time I was talking about Thing and how I liked the box that he came in and I thought it would be kind of cool to um wow this is really on the to make his box like have a hinge lid like on the Adams family and I bought this I think it was like a dollar for tiny hinges. <laughs> I just thought those are super cute. And I'm sure they'll work. Um, and then I got these little tags and you just hook them onto a zipper. I'm going to make some zipper bags to put my ephemera on for my junk journaling stuff. And I thought that'd be an easy way to like label it. And I got some thread. And we'll see how this holds out. And I also got a awl to help. It's got the little protector on here to like stab for the um, book binding and stuff. Oh, and I wanted to share. Last time I showed y'all I got these containers. I had to order more because these are amazing. You know, a lot of times when you put stuff in a container like this, it like flips over into the other compartment. Well, these were only 57 cents. They do have a hole where you can hang them on the wall, but look at that. All that stuff stays in their own little compartment. So I put my, I spent like a whole day putting all my metal pieces in here. And then I'm going to use another one for, um, like my brads and stuff like that and then I got a little pastry brush just for the kitchen okay well I'm gonna go to these next I have got these um, I don't know how well you can see them but it has like a clear spot and it's a pretty decent size but I got them for storing some stuff in my closet and it does have a handle right here in the front. Um, oh, no, on each side. So I guess it goes like that. But I had bought two of them. So I thought that would be good for storage. And then my daughter saw my cup holder. I want one, Mom. And so I love mine. And you just pop it on your can and you don't have to worry about any bugs climbing in there or anything. I don't think it would really stop it from being spilt, but I think it's worked out pretty good. I like it. Okay, so now I'm into, oh no I'm not. And then I also got a silicone mat that you like spread your cookies or dough or whatever to make them more uniform. Oh, and look on the other side, it has, I guess, if you're making hot dogs or something. I don't know, bread? I don't know, something. So, now we're into the craft stuff. Um, I'll show my stickers first. So, this box has a whole bunch of, oh, okay, I remember this now. They're really tiny, though, like little dressers and I apologize if my light isn't working good like there's a trunk there's all sorts of little miniature furniture and stuff and then this bag I'll take a few things out has oh that has a smell Ooh, a little tea bag and like there's a bag and like there's a, um, I can't remember what that's called right now, microscope or something. But yeah, thought that was really neat. And then, oh yeah, 
I was hoping these were going to be taller. So this is another bag. And it has these really pretty uh, Victorian ladies. And I'm going to use them in a, a journal when I do, like, my Victorian journal. Y'all, I'm going to get, like, I'm trying to get, like, all the stuff for my journals. And I'm going to, like, work on all of them at once. And, like, it's probably, probably going to be chaos, but why not? And then I got these uh, bulldog clips. So, let's see. Oh, that works pretty good. These were two eighty eight. I do remember that. And then I got big stencils, which, you know, last time the stencils I got were like little bitty and it made it kind of, it made it hard to use. I couldn't use them for what I needed the other day. But I know I can use them later. And this even comes with a, a little ring so you can attach them. So that's nice. Okay, so I'm just going to show each of them individual. There's this one. And that one. This is my package from my car when I bought it. Uh, so flowers. And... Oh, I love that. It has a little butterfly. Pretty. And then there's those. I think I'm actually going to put them on the ring too because that's kind of cool. I might actually store my other ones on a ring. That's a good idea. I can like punch a hole with my crocodile. And that's the last one of those. So, I think I'm another pack of stickers. As if you can tell, I like my stickers. And this one is clocks. Um, I guess I could show them. Like, there's that clock. Oh, it's not just clocks. Look, it's the bunny from Alice in Wonderland. And then there's flowers. And another clock. And there's a butterfly. And a a phonograph I think just lots of little things and then I got this I'm gonna test it out after I get off here um, for my for my paper trimmer it's supposed to be compatible with the Fiskars brand but it came with two and I think it was like two bucks if you know, they cost a lot more than $2 a Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now I'm going to go to, oh, I got some more of those like flower things. I think they're so pretty. And I watched um, Rachel and Bella and she puts hers in this like she called it a bird feeder or something. I thought I have one of those. So I put all my lace and stuff in there. And I thought, how fun is that? And then it makes it easy to find it. And then I got more of the same fabric I got last time. I'm not going to show them all because, like I said, I showed it last time. But I'll try to do, like, a, a thing where it will show, like, all of them at least. Or most but yeah, all those pinks and stuff I'm going to be putting in my granddaughter's quilt. Okay, and then I got some more dies. Okay, so this one is actually supposed to make French. I'm going to have to try to find where it shows that again and see how you do that because I thought that was really cool. And then this is a like film strip and like a ticket. I thought that was neat. And here's a slide for specimen stuff, which my daughter Ashley got me a um, dried flowers, which I might be able to put a little one in there, 
but I'm going to have to make bigger ones for what she got me for my fairy journal. And then this one has big flowers. So, let's see if I can get these on here. It's got little irises and stuff. Very, very pretty. And then this is the other ones. And, by the way, I found a new... Um, magnetic sheet to hold the um, die sets um, on Amazon and I will link that down below it has um, it's actually double sided which my container has got it's so heavy because I've got so many I'm gonna like replace most of them with the double sided now but um, I thought oh, okay there's three in the sheet and I thought, okay, well, it's $21. That technically is six sheets, so that's fine. You know, I'll get that. Then when my husband got it and brought it to me, I was like, whoa, this is heavy. Like, why is it so heavy? Is that because they're double magnetized? Like, I didn't know. And so I opened it up, and it's three packs. So there's nine sheets that are double-sided. And I was like, oh, my. Now I'm going to have to message Amazon and tell them that they sent me too many and then I thought, no, before you do that, look at your order. And I looked at the order, and on the website it says three sheets on the package, but on the top it says three packs is what you're buying. So, yeah, it's a very good deal. Uh, and then I got a embossing folder for my uh, steampunk journal. I also got a... Um, a little paper pack this is a six by six and uh, there's a lot in here I'm gonna try to go through them really fast for y'all so let's see if I can try to just do them oh, and they are single sided oh, are they duplicates yeah they're duplicates so I don't know how well you can see those but it's all like steampunk if I would have known that they were duplicates, I would have just separated them out before. And I'm trying to grab two at a time now. And those. And then some suitcases. And then the last one is in here backwards. So, yeah. Yeah, I think there's like 30. And I want to say it was like 5 bucks. So, it was a very good deal. So I took them out of the packages, and at a quick glance, I kind of think I might have bought some repeats, so I hope not, um, but here we go. So this one is a, like a dressmaker type, and it's got butterflies, and I just thought that was really cute, and then a music note, and then there's one for the steampunk with the little air float and a little steampunk girl and here's one with tickets and uh, it looks like a some kind of a card or something and then telephone and clocks lots of clocks I guess it's a clock in a telephone that's interesting and this one just has Whole bunch of numbers and I believe it's a one piece yeah it's a one piece which I'm not really fond of but it's fine and then I like this one because it's got the steampunk and it's got bricks and like confetti or what's it called graffiti and then another looks like bricks or something on there so yeah, I think that's all I have. Um, I, yeah, I'm sorry if I seem a little off today. I have a crank in my neck, so I'm trying not to, like, turn my head too much. But, um, anyways, if any of y'all are watching my quilting that I've been doing on my Dream Big Quilt, I could not get the lighting and the angle to work right with the free motion. So, I think I'm going to put a stop to that part on videoing because it's very frustrating to try to see. And, um, I, 
I'm just going to start going into the cutting and stuff, but I'm going to wait till my neck gets a little bit better. So, anyways, I just thought I'd let y'all know. I hope y'all have a very blessed day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.